today at 6, the fallout continues after that Downing Street video appearing to make fun of a party during because lockdown. Because she, she, she wants to the be number able... 10 aide, seen laughing with colleagues on the video, was emotional today. She resigned a short while ago. To all of you who lost loved ones, who endured intolerable loneliness and who struggled with your businesses, I am truly sorry. That video, dating from a year ago, has brought calls for Boris Johnson's resignation, but he still claims that the party didn't happen. I apologise. I apologise unreservedly for the offence that it has caused up and down the country, and I apologise for the impression that it gives. Millions of people now think the Prime Minister was taking them for fools <laughs> and that they were lied to. Now, we are expecting a news conference in Downing Street on extra Covid measures for England. We'll join that as and when it happens. Also tonight on this extended edition of BBC News at Six, Pfizer-BioNTech announced that three doses of their vaccine can neutralise the new Omicron variant of the virus. And a terrible start for England on the first day of the first Ashes test in Brisbane. Welcome to BBC News at Six, which comes today from the BBC headquarters in Salford in Greater Manchester. Now, Boris Johnson has faced more calls for his resignation today following the emergence of that video which has caused shockwaves at Westminster and much further afield. The video showed his staff joking about a Christmas party last December during the strict lockdown when many families were unable to visit their loved ones. Allegra Stratton, the aide seen laughing on the video, has resigned this afternoon. And Boris Johnson apologised for the video, but he then repeated his claim that no party had taken place. Labour Sakir Starmer said he was treating the country like fools. Well, in a moment, we are expecting the Prime Minister to give that uh, news conference, so let's just stay with this for the moment uh, before we recap on the day's events earlier. And let's talk to our Deputy Political Editor, Vicky Young, who's at Westminster. Now, Vicky, this news conference has been rather hastily arranged, as we understand it. It's to start in the next few minutes. What are we expecting? <laughs> 